गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू रिलीफ ट्यूटोरियल्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट सम क्वांटिटीज डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस मीन्स लेंथ ऑफ द पाथ डिस्टेंस इज अ स्केलर क्वांटिटी इट इज मेजर्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मीटर एंड सेंटीमीटर symbol for a distance is normally s then we have seen displacement displacement means the straight distance between initial point and the final point distance does not depend on path distance is a vector quantity it is also measured in terms of meter and centimeter kilometer also in both the units are same displacement also symbolized by s you might remember that displacement is also def defined as change in position so we have written the formula for displacement delta x is x f minus x i delta x means change in position x f means final position minus initial position so change in position is final position minus initial position this formula of displacement is used for number line type of examples based on these we have seen two important quantities speed and velocity let me recap it fast speed means distance traveled by moving body in unit time distance traveled in unit time and velocity means displacement traveled in unit time indirectly we are writing the differentiation between speed and velocity formula for speed is speed is equals to distance upon time and velocity is velocity is displacement upon time symbolically v speed means v v is equals to s upon t here also the symbol seems to be same but we know that speed depends on distance and time distance and time both are scalar quantities so speed is scalar quantity while velocity is vector quantity speed does not require any direction to mention while velocity requires so here the speed depends on distance and time and time can never be negative and distance also can never be negative so distance is positive always time is positive always so speed is always positive for moving particle speed is always positive for moving particle but we know about the displacement displacement can be positive negative or zero so same thing can be seen in the velocity so velocity can be positive negative or zero so indirectly we have seen the difference between two quantities speed and velocity we have seen the concept of average speed 
okay same concept you can use for the average velocity also nothing new what was the formula for average speed let me write all the formulas for you see students we are just doing the recap of the previous lectures because the new topic we will start will be the quite typical and for that we require the whole base up to here okay which are the formulas we have seen average speed is average speed vav is equals to vav is equals to if you remember s1 plus s2 upon t1 plus t2 means in words you can write total distance upon total time okay uh, we also have seen that if t1 is equals to t2 then v a v is equals to v1 plus v2 upon 2 means when the time intervals are same average speed can be calculated by finding average of two speeds same if you remember if s1 is equals to s2 then v a v is equals to 2 v1 v2 upon v1 plus v2 now same formula you can use in average velocity so in place of speed if you are in the topic of velocity what would be the difference let me clear it then v a v here will be average velocity if you are talk if you are talking about average velocity so average velocity is equals to s1 plus s2 upon t1 plus t2 so in that case it, it, it will be total displacement symbols are same so don't get confused upon total time t1 when t1 is equals to t2 then v a v is equals to v1 plus v2 upon 2 so when you think about velocity this is average velocity so average velocity is equals to initial velocity means first velocity plus second velocity upon 2 in the case of speed it was first speed plus second speed upon 2 all the things are same everything is same all the formulas are applicable in the case of speed also and in the case of velocity also okay now the very important thing i want to tell you i want to tell you about this consider what about the what do you mean by constant speed what do you mean by constant speed constant speed when the speed remains constant if i write this type of example consider this is road here here one of the particle traveling with 40 km per hour the speedometer shows the reading 40 km per hour here at this point the speedometer speedometer do you remember speedometer the dial which is present on the surface of the vehicle which shows the 0 10 20 30 40 that is speedometer i think this type of picture you have seen this type of calibrations are there here is one of the pointer 0 10 20 30 40 up to 150 or 180 that is so if i say the pointer is here then the reading is what 20 km per hour this way and along with that one of the dial like this also along with that in which the kilometers are written this is called as odometer and this is called as speedometer speedometer shows speed and odometer shows distance traveled by the vehicle odometer shows distance traveled by vehicle and speedometer shows speed of the body speed of the particle at that time 
so here also the speed of this particle let us say is 40 km per hour here also the speed is 40 km per hour so can we say that here the speed of the particle remains constant so this particle travels with the constant speed if you remember it is also called as uniform speed also called as uniform motion number of words for the same so here the speed remains constant now I ask you one question here the speed remains constant agreed but what do you think here the velocity is constant is the velocity is constant here now what do you mean by velocity velocity is a vector quantity so velocity is not only having the magnitude it is having magnitude as well as direction now if you see here carefully look at here if you see here carefully here the magnitude of velocity is 40 km per hour okay remember one thing magnitude of velocity is always equals to speed means magnitudely both are same we can say here the 40 km per hour is the magnitude of velocity here the magnitude of velocity is 40 here the value is 40 so seems to be that it is going with the constant velocity but no velocity is a vector quantity so vector quantity has two characteristics magnitude as well as direction speed is having speed is a scalar quantity so scalar quantity has only one characteristics and that is the magnitude and here the magnitude of speed is same or not yes here the magnitude of speed is same but what about magnitude of speed means magnitude of velocity so magnitude of velocity is same but what about the direction can you see that here the direction of motion is like this is going like upward direction seems to be here the when it goes like this so here the direction of motion is seems to be like this you can draw the arrow from that point straight arrow and here if you see the particle is almost going down on the slope so the direction of motion is almost like this so look at the first direction upwards seems to be it is flat it is somewhat downwards so here the direction of velocity is not constant so this type of motion having the magnitude constant but not the direction so it is not constant velocity motion constant speed we can say because speed only having the magnitude so it is easily understood that magnitude of speed is same so it is a constant speed agreed over but what about the constant velocity because velocity is a vector quantity let me write note velocity is a vector quantity so if magnitude of velocity and direction of velocity both remain same then only the particle said to be moving with constant velocity velocity is a vector quantity so if a vector quantity because we know that vector quantity has two characteristics magnitude and direction so when you see the magnitude as well as direction both remains constant 
in this example magnitude of velocity is constant but not the direction so this example is not for constant velocity motion so if the magnitude of velocity and direction of velocity both remain same in place of word same you can write constant or unchanged whatever you say so if magnitude of velocity and direction of velocity both remain same then only the particle said to be moving with constant velocity let me give you some examples okay consider as we have seen the path same type of path is here okay here the magnitude of velocity is 20 km per hour now we are talking about velocity only here the magnitude of velocity is 40 km per hour and here the magnitude of velocity is 30 km per hour now you just analyze that which quantity is constant and which which characteristics of velocity is constant and which characteristics of velocity is not constant you have to see two things magnitude and direction look at the magnitude here is 20 here is 40 here is 30 so can i say magnitude of velocity is not constant this cross for not constant and what about the direction of velocity direction of velocity draw the arrows from that point here the particle is seems to be going in the upward direction so from this point you can draw the arrow like this the tangent representation so this is what the direction of velocity here then it goes almost like a flat so i think it's like this so direction of velocity like this direction of velocity is like this so direction upward flat downwards so direction of velocity also not constant so this is so is this a constant velocity obviously not nothing is constant so this is non constant velocity motion okay this example is over second example let us consider this type of path here the magnitude of velocity is 10 meter per second here 10 meter per second and here 10 meter per second so what about the magnitude of velocity direction of velocity and type of motion so magnitude of velocity is 10 meter per second 10 meter per second 10 meter per second so magnitude of velocity is constant here the direction is almost flat here the direction is somewhat downwards highly downwards so direction is not constant so if one of them is not constant it is again non constant velocity type of motion second example third example consider this is the path straight line here is the magnitude of velocity is 10 meter per second here 5 meter per second here 8 meter per second so direction of motion is along with the road here the still the particle going in the same direction so direction of motion is still on the right hand side here also direction of motion is on the right hand side so what do you observe magnitude of velocity and what about the direction of velocity magnitude of velocity is 10 5 and 8 so not constant and what about the direction right hand side right hand side right hand side so i think direction here is constant but as we know both should be constant at a time then only we can say it's a constant velocity so again it is non constant velocity motion 
okay so these are all three examples for non constant now what do you think if i want to take the example in which the particle is moving with the constant velocity then i have to keep two things constant magnitude as well as direction how can you maintain the direction constant so there is only one way to maintain the direction constant and that is what the path should be straight so consider again it's a straight path here the particle is moving with 10 meter per second velocity here also the particle's velocity is 10 here also the particle's velocity is 10 and here we can say that magnitude is constant direction is constant and so this is constant velocity type of motion is that clear so this is constant velocity type of motion so when direction and magnitude both direction and magnitude of velocity both remains constant then only the particle is said to be moving with the constant velocity motion remaining all are non-constant velocity type of motion and remember remember listen to me carefully non-constant velocity means except these all these three one two and three non-constant velocity type of motion are also called as accelerated motion means changing velocity here the velocity changes look at here in this case why it is non-constant because here magnitude changes or direction both changes here magnitude remains constant but direction changes here here direction remains constant but the magnitude changes so in all these three velocity changes either due to magnitude or due to direction or due to both so the motion in which velocity changes let me give some more stress on the definition the motion in which velocity changes due to magnitude or direction or both here the magnitude changes here direction changes here both changes and such type of motion are called as non-constant velocity okay but non-constant velocity is also called as changing velocity motion simple word and most properly it is accelerated motion so what do you mean by accelerated motion so simple thing you have to remember that when you heard this word accelerated motion means velocity is changing either due to magnitude or due to direction or due to both now in our syllabus in ninth standard in ninth standard in our syllabus we have the examples only of such in which the magnitude changes means we have to see this type of accelerated motion only we have to see only this kind in which the magnitude changes the particle will travel on the straight path only okay so direction will not change direction remains constant but what will be the changing one magnitude so in our syllabus we will see only those type of accelerated motion example in which the magnitude changes we will talk more about this accelerated motion we have the formula also we have the proper definition you need and etc but before starting with acceleration we will solve some examples of average velocity type okay some textbook examples which is given in your textbook and then we will start about the accelerated motion but that all things we will discuss in the next lecture till then best of luck